Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you guys for joining me here for your daily love reading. I'm going to tip you down here so you can see your cards come out. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus. Um, the messages don't necessarily happen today, but this is the message coming through for you guys to hear at this point in time. So let's get your energy, Taurus. Taurus in love for today. Maybe. Thank you. All right. The Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Finding passion again. Having a new spark of uh, creativity. Having a new idea about how to um, move forward in the future. You could be creating something. Um, like with your hands. The person you are dealing with has the Eight of Cups. too many the energy coming in for you guys is the six of swords spirits advice is the seven of wands and the outcome of this situation Once again, way too many. Okay, I'm being called to take them. This might be a little bit longer. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is your shared energy with the Chariot and the Knight of Cups clarifying. Okay, bottom of the deck now is the Three of Pentacles. So this could have been a third party situation, either that. In this deck, there's just one person there. So you're trying to work on your connection to spirit, um, your connection to source. The shared energy here is there is a huge opportunity, a huge offer coming in for you, but you must first move away from a connection you're currently in. This is moving away single, could be towards a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Um, you also have the Knight of Cups. So there's somebody um, that's very in and out of your life, um, very hot and cold. One day they wanna stay with you, the next day they wanna leave. Um, you have to move out of that energy. And when you do that, a huge offer and a new door um, will open up for you, bringing you much abundance. Like I said, you guys have the Ace of Wands. Why is that here for Taurus today? The Empress, nice. So most definitely you guys could be um, creating a new company. Um, you could have a new idea for a company, something to, you know, like I said, create with your hands. For some of you, you see a new beginning with somebody you're gonna, you want to move forward um, towards somebody you're very passionate about. This unfortunately could be an empress, uh, the mistress, or it could just be Taurus. You're getting your groove back and you are ready to move forward and connect with your passion again. I'm seeing all of them. The energy that your person is dealing with or that you're dealing with with your partner is the Eight of Cups. So they are walking away um, in a more spiritual path. Why is the Eight of Cups here? This um, situation has been very draining um, and very emotionally exhausting. So they are moving forward, which is, which is beautiful because you have a new door opening up, Taurus, when one of you walks away from this very flighty energy. So, you know, whoever is the one walking away, it doesn't matter. You're the one that's getting a new beginning, a opportunity to have so much abundance in your life. The card that clarified that is the Hierophant. So they're walking away from a, a marriage that no longer is what they want. This could be you as well, Taurus, um, because this is your card. So the marriage is emotionally draining. They no longer want to stay in this connection and they're moving forward. Um, going forward more than likely towards a divorce with that Ace of Swords at the bottom.
But the energy coming in for you, Taurus, is you're going to move away and out of this rough waters that you've been trying to traverse and into smooth sailing. You're leaving the heartache behind and you're moving forward to find some healing, which is beautiful. It's way better over there than what it is in this turmoil and heartache that you've been going through. So you are um, moving out of this draining relationship, moving out of a Some of you are moving homes. Um, why is the seven of wands here? So you are going to prevail. You are going to come out of this successful. Yes, you're completing this major life cycle. So Spirit's advice is to quit fighting for this relationship that's over. Allow the cycle to complete so you can start new and have a new beginning. Um, and, and be patient. It's going to take time. But continue to, um, you know, continue to grow, continue to work on yourself, continue, and most importantly, plant seeds of intention for what you want in the future, because this is coming to a completion. Um, it's meant to end. So let the universe know what your wishes are, because it's going to manifest in the future. Um, as soon as you let go of this conflict that you've been dealing with, um, in your outcome, you have the eight of pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, but no matter what, you guys are both no longer going to work on this connection. Um, you've been holding on out of fear of financial issues, fear of, um, you know, financial burdens. Uh, so you've been holding on to this connection far too long out of fear, fear of being alone, fear of losing money, fear of having to share your, your assets. Um, fear of raising the children on your own, fear of paying for the children on your own. Um, there's a lot of fear here around money. Look, they're all money cards, all of them. And they're all about fear and hanging on too long out of money. Um, it's time to move forward with courage, with strength, and know that you're moving into better times. You just have to um, face those fears. The strength card is all about fear and um, managing your inner demons, your your doubt, your fears, your your shadow side, balancing that out. Um, so in the future, you are going to have to find that strength and courage to move forward. The kids are going to be just fine, um, and they will be financially uh, provided for. So it's time to come out of the dark and see the light. Come into the warmth of the church and release what is no longer um, meant to be yours or what release that fear of not having enough um, because neither one of you are wanting to continue the way things have been which is such a beautiful energy for you Taurus because you've had some rough energy in the last I don't know how long couple of years I swear it's been that long but you're finally releasing you're finally getting your your confidence back you know that you have what it takes to move forward and create a new life that will bring passion to you and abundance. Through, um, clarifying your outcome. Yeah. Okay, so clarifying your outcome. The tower is coming in to, to shake this down, to bring it down to ground zero so you can rebuild, to get you out of this conflict, to get you out of this continuously fighting to wipe away, you know, outside people that are in your business. Um, but the tower is doing you a favor and clearing out this energy. Um, so you can find yourself again. So you can love and nurture and put time into yourself because you deserve it. You deserve to be nurtured once. This is also you um, being able to provide just fine for yourself and and whoever is responsible um, or you're responsible for like children or whatever. Um, this is you finding success again. This is you finding who you truly are again, Taurus. I love it. And when you do, change is coming, yes, but it's for the better. You're going to wonder, why did I hold on so long when this and this come in for you? This is the best of both worlds, abundance and passion. And you sitting at the top, just knowing how amazing you are. I love this card in the stack because... Though Empress also has the Wheel of Fortune. So she has the key to success that continuously brings her in fortune. So allow the universe to take out whatever it is 
that you're holding on to too, too tight, don't fight the end, but embrace it and allow that change. And when you do, oh my God, Taurus, look what is coming in for you. Success, happiness, joy, abundance, passion. It's all here for you, Taurus. You just have to release and let go of whatever it is you're hanging on too tight to. And so many blessings are coming in your way, guys. So many blessings. So I hope this message resonates with you. I hope you take Spirit's advice and let that go. Release it and um, and allow what's meant for you to come in for you because you have many blessings on, your, on the way. So Taurus, I send you all my healing uh, love and light, and I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.